Hey, what's up guys? This is ZeroSelex here. Finally back with another Pokemon Showdown Battle here. Uh, for you guys. I know it's been forever since I uploaded here. Uh, that's because I got busy with stuff on my other channel. That and the fact that Fire the uh, Fire Emblem 12 translation patch was released. So, you know, I've been all over the game ever since the patch was released. So, yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, today I have an OU match here. As you can see by the uh, team preview here. I made a brand new team because you know I'm always making new teams try to like give things interesting for myself and that's for you guys and I know seeing the same team over and over again gets kind of boring so yeah I'm just trying out some new and old things here well not really new things just things that I haven't really used in a while and just decided to put them together in the team along with the Meloetta because uh, Meloetta does work and uh, I really like it anyway so I'm using the a standard choice band Caesar something that I really haven't used like forever like forever ago and uh, it, 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 it it works it works all right so that, there's that uh, I have you know standard uh, glass core I guess you know no standard EV spread on it but I have running stealth rocks protect earthquake and uh, roost I think yeah so it really doesn't do much except wall and set up rocks it's pretty much it um using a short scarf infernape because no one sees the scarf coming for some reason most people just expect me to be banded yeah, and uh, you know I needed a way to revenge kill a uh, scarf genosect if it's rock polish then you know I'm pretty much screwed so you know as long as the scarf the uh, inferno can pretty much just uh, come in and revenge kill it if it has to come to that but uh, there you go and uh, he makes a pretty decent revenge kill I'm not gonna lie uh, have you turn close combat flare blitz and mock punch I believe don't know why I have Mock Punch. I think it's just I have it there for a filler move, but it can come in handy. I don't know. I don't know. And I, I decided to bring Lantern back because I have not used Lantern, you know, along with Caesar. You know, my my freaking my uh, freaking what's it? Voltern Core, Caesar Lantern. Oh, I freaking love that thing. So set to slap Lantern here with Heal Bell, Scald, uh, Volt Switch, and Toxic over Ice Beam because uh, I don't know why I'm trying out Toxic right now. So. And I know it's kind of stupid carrying a cleric when you have a poison heal, uh, blast core, but eh, it, it it hasn't failed me yet, so it's not much of a problem. And uh, here I have a kind of offensive Celebi. Like I have bulk, but I have max special attack with a modest nature, along with nasty block, giga drain, hidden power, fire, er earth power. Uh, I'm gonna change the moves around a bit. Probably give it hidden power ice. Because I uh, seem look at my team. I'll have anything with a nice attack, and that could be problematic. And then you know, have the uh, mixed mellow Edda set with Relic Song, Close Combat, Psychic, and Thunder over the Thunderbolt. Because you know, rain is extremely common, so take advantage of that if I can. So you know, that's it for my team. Uh, my opponent here, uh, just 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 look at his team. It's full of threats. Look at that: Genesect, Terrakion, Latios, Landers, T. Breloom, I think I already said Breloom. Uh, Heatran, he's not much of a threat, but he is a problem. Uh, depending on the, actually, I didn't even depend on the set. It's just Heatran's a problem in general. So there's that. Uh, very threatening team here. Uh, pretty interesting match as well. So uh, let's get started. So I'll lead things off with my uh, Scarf the Hanu machine here. Uh, Cookie for anyone to guess the reference. As my opponent leads off with his Genesect, he gets the attack boost because I have four special defense EVs on my uh, Infernape here, just for that kind of situation. And uh, I know he's not gonna stay in, or even if he does, I can always, you know, I'll speed him and go for the U-turn and then you know go from there. But he decides to hard switch out into his Heatran. I guess he was fearing the fact of me being scarfed as well. So that's great. I break his balloon. Uh, on the heat transfer, that's great. I go into Evergreen, my Celebi here, go for the Earth Power. I guess he wasn't expecting to outspeed me or something, or he was hoping that I didn't have the Earth Power or something. Uh, I don't know, but the thing is that Heat Tran dies on the second turn of the match, and that is fantastic. That is one huge, you know, pain in the ass, gone early in the match, and that is fantastic. Yeah, I switched to Fangor, who can take, uh, you, you know, the bug attack fairly easily, you know. U-turn, he can take it like all day. Bug Buzz, he can take it, but uh, it would kind of hurt. Uh, but yeah, he 
He turns into his Latios. I go for Protect here just to get, you know, full HP and then see what kind of, like, Latios set this is. Uh, he goes for Surf, but, you know, saying that, you know, he didn't hit me and there's no way to tell if he specs, extra build, life orb, leftovers, or whatever. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna wanna stay in to take you the Draco Meter if he, he is extra belted, or, you know, the next Surf. So I switch it to Natasha, who's a special wall. Uh, takes the Draco Meter pretty, pretty easily like pretty dandy I'm not gonna lie he is tur he turns out to be a life uh, set that's uh, good information half uh, but I know I can take another Draco at uh, minus two even with the life orb so that I'm gonna stay in uh, go for the skull try to burn something because you know he they have the lander's T so I didn't want to go for bolt switch uh, Berlin comes in uh, that was kind of a risky play on his part because I could have potentially burned him uh, but I don't, so that sucks. I switch it to Fangor, who can take hits from Breloom. Uh, I was kind of expecting him to go for a Spore or something. Uh, luckily for me, he does not go for the Source Dance, so that is great. That's great news for me. He goes for Bullet Punch. Doesn't it, like it does some damage, but uh, after Poison Heal and then you know me just, uh, being a prick and protecting and everything, it really won't do much. But I guess he, my opponent pr uh, predicts me to go for Protect, so he switches on to his Genesec, who just you know, takes a freaking earthquake to the face, right to the goddamn mouth. Uh, so you know that's good. Getting some solid damage on the genus, like it's always nice. I can, then again, you know, just revenge kill it later makes makes it easier to revenge kill it. Uh, go for U turn. Uh, go for protect to get some HP recovery with toxic uh, poison heal over there, uh, and to kind of see what he's gonna lock himself into. He locks himself into U turn, and. Uh, Set to set up my rocks here as the Latios comes back in. So you know now that I know he's life orb and not specs or extra belted, uh, you really don't have much to you know safely switch into the Latios. I, I switch into Natasha. You know that's a death fodder because I looked at his team and uh, not Natasha. Her name is Mist. What the hell am I saying? Mist. Mist. My lantern. Yes. I switch it in because you know uh, and fought uh, as a death fodder because uh, looking at the team. She really won't be doing too much, and that really sucks. Yeah, th this this was my first match, you know, with Lantern back in the team, and uh, she didn't really get to do much. That sucks. But you know, that that gives me an opportunity to switch into Mirror Jane, who has that natural special, you know, base 128 special offense, so she can take hits from Latios all day, every day, especially at minus two. Uh, go for the Relic Song as he switches into Lander's Therian. I get a crit which uh, definitely came in handy. That's another huge threat out of the way. Uh, really don't know what the hell he was going to do. He's probably set up rocks with it or something. He's probably a stealth rocker. But uh, that's great because I kill it off so he, there'll be no stealth rocks on my side of the field for the remainder of the match so that is fantastic. Uh, here I don't know what my opponent, why he would go for the side shock when I could easily just go for the relic song and you know resist the incoming side shock. Or, you know, just go for switching to Evergreen for that matter. Uh, but, uh, whatever, he goes for Psyshock. Uh, I switched out because I, there was really nothing I could do to the Latios. So. Uh, I actually switched out into Glasscore to, you know, trying to scout if he had Hidden Power Fire. And then when I see Roost, they're like, nope, he, this guy has nothing to hit me with. Uh, but then I realized that Evergreen can't do anything to Latios either because I have Hidden Power Fire instead of Hidden Power Ice. And even then, uh, it really would have mattered anyways, because he just flat out takes me out with the Draco Meteor. Uh, I thought I would probably, you know, survive one, but he, it is a life worth Latio, so, uh, I guess I was just overestimating, uh, the Celebi's bulk there. Anyways, I know now for a fact he does not hit him, have Hidden Power Fire, so I'm gonna switch into Mario Zeke and Pursuit Trap the Latio, so I won't have to worry about that thing spamming Draco Meteors all day. So that is great. Another threat gone, and now... Uh, we're stuck in a situation with uh, Caesar and Tina Sector just facing each other, and that is not good. Uh, I'm gonna switch into Fangor, who at this point is the only thing that I have that can take hits from Tina Sect. Uh, guess I could have gone into Meloetta, but uh, I'm not sure if she could be able to take a plus one flamethrower. Or you, I, I didn't want to risk uh, him going for the U turn, so. There's that. Here I go for Protect to get some more HP recovery and uh, pretty sure I can take another uh, Flamethrower at this range of health and fire off another Earthquake. But he decides to you know, not risk it. Uh, 
Actually, and they're going for Roost for some reason. I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell I was predicting, but I go for Roost uh, as he switches into his Brelum, which uh, kind of sucks because I have nothing to hit this Brelum with. I don't have Toxic, so I can't Toxic stall it, and I don't have Ice Fang, so I can't whittle down his. You know, can't take chunks of HP off. Uh, the thing is that this is a Life Orb variant of Brelum, uh, Leftovers variant, what the hell am I saying, Life Orb, yes, Leftovers. Uh, something I really don't see too often, it usually turns out to be either Choice Bandit or, uh, Life Orb. So seeing a, uh, Leftover Brelum is kind of interesting, and I gotta lie. Uh, but seeing, you know, he notices that he really can't do much to me with, uh, I can't do much to him with my Glide Score, so he just takes his chance to set up this, uh, Source Dance. And uh, luckily for me, he does not get greedy uh, and sets up another Swords Dance. So that is great because that will actually play a huge role later uh, in this match, as you will see later. Uh, switch it to Mayor Jane. Honestly, I don't know why. I honestly don't know why I switched Mayor Jane into the Mach Punch. I knew the Mach Punch was coming. I was, uh, I was under the impression that I could probably survive one. <laughs> I don't know why. What was my trying to my, my kind of process, uh, like my thought of process there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But uh, Model ZX here is my only hope in taking out the Breloom. Uh I was praying to God that I would take the Mach Punch, and I do manage to survive the Mach Punch, so that is great. Managed to take out the Breloom, so you know. I was kind of scared of that. I thought I was going to get swept by Breloom. Because that thing's a threat. Uh, so, managed to take that out. Jimmy said, comes in, and after Stealth Rocks, I will, I will easily take it out with the Bandit Bullet Punch from that range. And now all that he has left is the Terrakion, which we all know gets completely destroyed by a Choice Bandit Bullet Punch from a Caesar. And that will be the game, guys. Pretty, pretty epic game, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't had matches like these in a while. Then again, I haven't really been constructing teams like these in a while. Uh, with my good old Bolt Turn Core with the uh, Caesar and Lantern. Oh, uh, God. I'm, I'm gonna start using Lantern again. Uh, I miss that thing so much. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this rather uh, interesting match, full of nothing but threats and uh, old things that I haven't been using lately in a long time. So there's that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys soon, I hope, in a uh, freaking Nuzlocke episode. So look forward to that, and until then, peace out guys.